Hiking Preparedness. I'm Pastor Joe Fox. You know, back in the uh, 90s, I deployed one of my detachments, one of my Special Forces detachments to Australia to train with the Australian SAS and to uh, show them a couple of our new toys that we had. And so they were over there for about six weeks and I had to go check on them, right? Hey, go into Australia, hang out with the SAS. So it was cool. And so I was over there for a few days, and right before I flew back, I was sitting in the officer's mess, and it's kind of how they do things. It's kind of like a big living room, if you will, uh, with a bunch of SAS troopers. And we're just reading the paper, drinking coffee, and somebody's going to take me to the airport. <clears throat> and I got in a conversation with the guy about my, my dog, because Australians, like Americans, as a people, like dogs. And I had a Rhodesian Ridgeback. And they're like, oh yeah, Rhodesian Ridgebacks, those are cool dogs. And so I tell them about how I had to go through this breeder and sign this contract that I wouldn't breed my dog to anybody without her permission and she could breed my dog if she wanted to. And, you know, la, 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 la. And if I didn't agree to this, she could take me to court and I'd pay her court fees. And you couldn't get a Rhodesian Ridgeback without signing an agreement like that. And they asked me how much my dog costs and I said $700. And they looked at me in shock. And, you know, making a, a soft guy, a SAS trooper looking shock is hard to do. And they're like, 700 US? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, God, they're a dime a dozen here. And I'm like, what do you mean? And so we were reading a paper from Perth, Perth, um, local paper, newspaper. And they open it up and they flip to the classifieds. And in the classified section, they're selling dogs of, you know, various kinds, dogs and cats and stuff. And I don't know, there were probably eight or nine Rhodesian Ridgebacks for $75 Australian, which was less than $75 US at the time. And if it hadn't been the last hour I was in Australia, I would have tried to buy, you know, one or two and ship them back to the US with me. Um, but, you know, I was getting ready to leave it and I couldn't do that. And so why are dogs, why are Rhodesian Ridgebacks so cheap in Australia and so expensive here? breeders, you know, protecting their uh, their little corner on the market, which is why they make you sign these contracts and stuff. It, it's, it's just ridiculous. And the things breeders do to dogs, you know, they show their dogs to champion, and that's supposedly to protect the breed, and they're only going to, you know, breed champions. And they do the stupidest things. Like, you know, they buy whitener for their dog's teeth, and they trim their whiskers, and they're more concerned with how this dog looks than how this dog performs. And examples of that are dachshunds, you know, the little wiener dogs. Dachshunds are really originally fierce dogs. They were bred to go into holes and pull badgers. And a badger's a fierce animal of its own and pull badgers out of the hole for, for hunters. Or consider German shepherds before most police departments switched to Belgian Malinois. Um, the, the reputable police departments, they weren't getting their German shepherds from America. They were getting them from Germany. Why? Because the Americans had bred all the, the sharpness out of the shepherds and they all looked pretty. You know, <laughs> give me a break, man. Um, I get the, the argument, but most of it is facetious or they're fooling themselves. We should be breeding dogs to use. Dogs are man's, you know, uh, tools in the tool set. That's what they're supposed to be, most of them. You, know, you want to get a teacup chihuahua or something, whatever. Um, but, yeah, breeders. Oh, and that's another thing. They come up with terms, you know, they derisively use the term for somebody like me as backyard breeder. Well, where do you think the breeders breed the dogs, you know, have the dogs bred. Do you think they're in a laboratory and they artificially inseminate them? No, not usually. It's usually in their backyard, <laughs> right? I mean, give me a break, man. It's like blood diamonds. The whole phrase blood diamonds came out from the, the diamond cartel monopoly when other people started breaking into that, which is a long story about Sandline International and uh, getting their own cut uh, on the diamond trade. So they come up with the terms so people don't want to buy them. Yeah, whatever. I say go for quality, um, not looks. Go for performance, not looks. And uh, if you want a funny little piece of paper, go for it. All right, I'll see you out there.